everybody. Welcome to another episode of Idaho Dual Sport. Today I am coming at you with another Dual Sport review. This isn't really a Dual Sport specific product, I suppose. What this is, is a windshield extension. It's like a clip-on windshield extension. And I've seen mixed reviews on these, so I'm not really sure what to expect. But I am excited about it because I need just a little bit more coverage on the highway. And I think a clip-on windscreen is going to be just what the doctor ordered. So this comes, there's no real like <clears throat> brand name on these. Um, it's just a Chinese cheap clip-on extra windscreen. They get rebranded all kinds of different names. So whatever company you buy it from is going to be the name of the brand. So, um, but I'll show you what it looks like and we'll get out and ride with it. Hit the highway, get the windage up and we'll see how we like it. So that's a pretty, pretty nice thick piece of plexiglass. That's about the same thickness as the windscreen that I have on the bike now. So that's just going to clip. Can you even see it? It's really, it's really new and clear. I should put some fingerprints on there so you can see it better. <laughs> but that's about the size of it. And that's about all the extra coverage I need. I think the wind is pretty much hitting the top of my helmet now, but there's a little bit of turbulence up there. So this is just going to kick it up just a little bit more. And plus what I like about this, is I'll be able to pop it off when I hit dirt and just throw it in the pannier. So that'll be nice because I do like the height of my windshield where it's at now for off-road riding. Keeps my eyes up right where they need to be so that I'm not looking down too much. So <clears throat> let's see how this works here. See if we can just figure this out. because there's no instructions. <laughs> so there's a couple of pieces of, a couple of shims it looks like, a quick, a quick release. So obviously, Found the highway. Found some bugs already. We're breaking it in proper. Part of what I wanted to show, a little disappointing, this is a fail vlog, not just a regular vlog. Part of what I wanted to show is how how well you can see through the mirror. And uh, I went and got a bunch of bugs on it already. As soon as I hit this road, pick those up but this is great uh, I hit about 70 a little over 70 on one of the highways on the way out here and this thing is solid I mean it it's not budging it's not going anywhere um, and it's on there nice and secure so and it, it's not you know some of the reviews said that it was wobbly and just kind of cheap and cheesy but for, I can't remember how much I paid for it, 20, 20 or 25 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that. For that price, um, I'm, I'm super happy. First impressions are good, real good. You can see the quick release right here. So you can just pop it down uh, and pop that off. It's just like a bicycle seat. Seems to be solid. It's kicking the air up. Of course, I have it tilted forward to where it's about flat or it's about vertical and it's raising the air up probably whew, probably about six seven inches I bet so previously with just the moose racing windscreen here 
the this is a Moose Racing Plus Four, and the air would hit me probably right in the top of the visor. So you get a little side wind action and stuff going on, and you get a, a little bit of buffering, buffeting, buffering, buffeting in there, and uh, and it was just enough to be annoying and so this is kicking it up another six seven inches i'm comfortably behind the windscreen now i can ride with the modular helmet face open and around town not get a bunch of wind in my face working great so first impressions on the clip-on windscreen are fantastic I'm gonna flip around here. So let me just show you how easy this comes off here. It's fairly straightforward. So you just push the lever back to release it. And then what you can do is just undo it's easier to do if it's at the top but you just undo this thumb screw here behind the windscreen and you drop that on the ground and then you pull that out and the windscreen pops right off and then you're left with just the, the clip on there Get that. so and then Show you how simple it is to put back on. Pop that through there. Tighten the thumb screw down. Tilt it where you want it. And I've been putting it about halfway, I would say. And that's it pretty simple little device I mean for what it is I think it I think uh, first impressions I'm happy I like it I will give you more information if necessary but for now it's a thumbs up thanks for watching subscribe if you're new God bless and we'll see you on the next one